Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya Levy and I'm a vocal coach from Germany, now living and working here in Singapore. So today I would like to look at Sarah Geronimo versus Morissette Amon Vocal Showdown. This, I love those words like vocal showdown because that includes a showdown, you know? <laughs> oh my god. Um, usually, I would be very honest to you. I don't like to compare singers with each other because I think everyone, when it comes to when it comes to singing and vocals, everyone is unique and everyone is special in their own way. I really do believe that. Yeah. If you haven't by now, then please, please subscribe to that channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a video. So if you haven't by now, say hello to me on Instagram. I'm also on Facebook, uh, posting a lot of things of my life here, my students. If you haven't seen my students here. Um, let's look at the vocal breakdown. We will not looking at the full video today because I think that will be just too long. So let's look at the vocal. She's a beast. <laughs> There you go. Wow, what a control. to riffs, it's really not so easy to teach those riffs, especially when it comes to younger students because they don't have first of all no idea what a riff is <laughs> and to ad adapting them to make those riffs or make those runs, it's not so easy. Okay, so we can clearly already see a difference when it comes to their voices, uh, but they both have a lot of energy and power, yeah? Uh, we don't want to speak about preferences today because this is a, just a neutral channel. A lot of growling there. Ay, 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 ay. But they are very good, it's... Wow! So my, my father always used to say one very good thing, but he has nothing to do with music. He, uh, we used to have a restaurant, a family restaurant, an Italian restaurant. My father has nothing to do with music, but he said one very good thing that I've always remembered for all my life. He said, people have talent, but not everyone has the talent to take care of their talent. And that's a really good point, because entering the music industry means that you are very aware of what kind of voice quality you have, and you need to have the certain talent to take care of your instrument. 
And that is something very, very, very different because not everyone can mentally sustain working in the music industry, in performing arts, making, uh, making those uh, concerts, making those performances with this kind of voice, you know? We're not talking about this is a garage band singing and going on tour, we're talking about very um, singers and a level like Celine Dion, Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey one time in an interview said, um, I'm not giving a lot of concerts because I cannot sustain um, a good vocal health when I'm always on the road, you know, because those kind of voices cannot always be every day singing live. It's just, this is just a muscle. You cannot forget that you're working with a tiny muscle, you know, and even a muscle can get tired. We must understand this. She has a good vocal compression, yeah. Vocal closure. What a note, what a note. make one short stop yeah it's a lot of effort you know you're you're I saw a documentary yesterday by Whitney Houston and the band were saying she was the amount of effort she worked with her body on stage and you could see every muscle moving she was sweating seeing those high notes and that that that's the truth that's the truth when it comes to seeing uh, those gigantic massive songs and then using your voice and those ladies have self-esteem because they hit the stage because they know they are in control of their voice uh, and they have a good uh, self-esteem, good awareness uh, of their voice, yeah. Um, amazing, just an absolutely amazing vocal showdown. Um, it's absolutely unfair to battle them between because they're really, really good. Not everyone sounds pleasant in the higher register. For example, I have an alto and if I am singing in the upper register, it will not always sound very pleasant, to be quite honest. It really depends on every song I sing because that is not my natural register. And I need to work hard to go into this um, into this register to sing uh, like this. So, well, yeah, it's just, just because you can hit those certain notes doesn't mean necessarily that they are sounding pleasant. Okay, tell me if you like that video. And if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and tell me. Who did you like? It's now it's up to you to decide who won that battle. So who is your favorite? Was it Morizette or was it Sarah? And let me know in the comment se section what you think. And please, if you have another ideas for reaction videos, then please link them down in the comments below. And yeah, I hope I see you in my next video. And have a good day. I'm going out to teach and have a coffee.